Icom reveals a brand new HT for the amateur radio community, the ICT10 dual band handheld transceiver. Let's take a look at it right now. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining the channel today. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. This is Ham Radio 2.0. We do reviews, news, and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio. And this is a brand new radio. It's a brand new radio. I really like to do these reveals videos to get the word out about new equipment that's coming out in the marketplace. So today we're going to talk about the ICOM IC. T10, IC Tango 10. It is a simple operation and great performance, is what it's advertised as. This article I found at the Southgate Amateur Radio News Source, which you can see right here. And they're talking about introducing the IC T10 VHF UHF dual band FM transceiver. ICOM has announced details of a brand new 5 watt VHF UHF dual band amateur handheld radio, calling their IC T10. It has built. It has been built to the high quality commercial spec that you would expect from ICOM. It is IP67 rated, dust tight specification and waterproofing. A 1500 milliwatt speaker in the the radio, so that's 1.5 watt. So the the new, I believe the new FT5 from Yezu has a one watt speaker, and I think the new ID52 from ICOM also has a one watt speaker. I could be wrong about that, so fact check me on that if you want to. <laughs> But uh, but this is a 1.5 milliwatt or 1.5 watt 1500 milliwatt speaker in the radio, so it's going to be very easy to hear this radio when you turn the volume knob up. You're not going to have a problem hearing it. Long lasting lithium ion battery, making an ideal radio for beginners and seasoned amateur radio enthusiasts alike. A strong mil spec build and range of features that will also make for practical dual band radio for voluntary amateur radio communications such as Raynet. I don't know what Raynet is. If someone knows what Raynet is, put a comment in the description below. I would like to know what Raynet is. I've heard of it, and I probably should know what it is, but I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, taking a look at this thing, 5 watts, large speaker, IP67, up to 11 hours, asterisk marked, operating time with supplied 2400 milliamp hour lithium iron battery. And it gives a little blurb down there. 11 hours VHF, 10 hours UHF, approximately 1 to one to eight duty cycle operation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It really depends on how long you let it listen, how much activity there is on whatever frequency or repeater you're listening to, and how many times you transmit as to battery life. So it's kind of up to up to 11 hours. Yeah, that's typical news press jargon, typical um, media press media release jargon. It's not, it's not. It's pretty common to see that sort of things. So, FM broadcast receiver, built-in CTCSS, DTCSS, DTCS, which, of course, we would expect. 16 DTMF auto-dial memories. I don't see in this article here how many memories it has, how many actual memories in the radio where you can save memories to the radio itself. You can see right here it's got a pretty basic and kind of an older-looking display to it. It's... Uh, what I would call a dot matrix display. It's the old type of alarm clock looking display. Similar to the new FTM 6000 mobile radio that Yezu just released. This has got a very simple display to it. Looks like it only displays one band at a time. There might be a way to change that in there. Not really found in this article right here. So I do have a PDF file right here. That's this pre the media release or whatever you call it. Uh, advertising release for that. So, home button, top panel for quick access, optional HM222 HLWP loud audio speaker mic. So, you can get an optional speaker mic to it, IP67. Other features uh, down here at the bottom right, it says DC power operation with optional AD149H. So, probably a cigarette lighter style adapter. Free CST10 downloadable programming software. Some people will ask that question, so there you go. It will have software that you can download for programming. Oh, there it is right there. Total of 208 memory channels with a six-character channel name. Built-in CTCSS, 16 DTMF. Priority program, memory skip, and tone scan. Direct conversion system. So 208 memory channels is not actually very much for this day and age. Uh, the the Yezu radios and the current the ICOM 52, which is current and still in production, 
have about a thousand memory channels. That this is this is not going to be a top of the line HT. This is going to be a more moderately priced. I assume there's nothing in here about price at all. In fact, this article is linked from a UK website, icomuk.co.uk, and I'll put links to the article and to this PDF file in the description below. But if this is going to be a lower end, no digital, not as many bells and whistles as the ID52, which is like a $600 HT, which is good, which is good, I think. I think that, that I think that Icom is filling a niche here. So speaker microphones, it lists four different speaker microphones, two different headsets, two different earphone speakers, an optional battery pack, BP280 lithium-ion, typical, and you can get a smaller battery pack at 2,280 milliamp hours instead of 2,400. Seems kind of backwards, but okay. All right, that's fine. That's it, So it comes with the largest battery it can. It's a good way to look at it right there. Power supply adapter, which is a battery eliminator, it looks like, style. Rapid charger which is a desk charger, multi-charger. You're going to buy multiple ones of these. And then it's got some other information down here at the bottom of the page. So ICOM's got this brand new HD. It's about to come out. Moving back over here, it says we expect, uh, right here at the bottom of this article, we expect the ICT-10 to be available this summer. We will confirm cost and availability as soon as we have them. So don't we don't really know at this time what it's going to look like cost-wise. Presumably, it will be less expensive than the ID52, which it should be. The ID52 is a top-of-the-line radio. It's a great radio. I've got mine. I love it. I use it. Um, I took it on my last two road trips and used it. Really like that radio. This radio, and but that's the ID52 is the only thing that ICOM has in the game right now, production-wise. Everything else has been discontinued. You can get some older ICOMs that are really good, but there's nothing actually currently in production besides the ID52, which is a north of $600 HT right now, depending on where you get it. So this is going to be a lower end, more economical, less bells and whistles, HT dual band transceiver from ICOM, and it's going to fill a void that is missing in ICOM right now. So hats off to ICOM. Great idea, great job putting this HT out there for someone who doesn't want to spend all the money on an ID52, but still wants the ICOM name, dual band transceiver. Look forward to trying one of these out when they release this summer. What do you think about this radio. Is this something that you might consider? Is this something that you're excited about? Are you disappointed that it doesn't have 220 like I am? <laughs> but, you know, there's no production HTs out of, coming out of Japan right now with 220. So, okay. I don't know. It'd be nice if they would put 220 in. But, be that as it may, are you excited about this? Do you think this is something that you could use? Put a comment in the YouTube video below. Thanks for watching today, guys. ICOM reveals a brand new H... No, 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 no. Okay, ICOM... Re <clears throat> ICOM reveals a brand new HT for the amateur radio community. The IC2... Dadgummit.